Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. If I understand them right, they want to do this, and they're trying to do, but it doesn't come out. How can they do that? So this is grouped together. It's actually ungrouped together. There's different parts. So when you do that, if you if everything is ungrouped, you're going to get the boundary tool. If you go to object and group this stuff together, you can't use the boundary tool because it's not there. So go to object, group, and ungroup. And then when you do that, you get the boundary tool. I'm going to, this thing's almost 14 inches. I'm going to change my nudge factor to 16. And for the one I'm doing the video for, I change your duplicate distance to zero, zero. You'll find out in the long run, you'll be a lot happier. So let's use the boundary tool and let's nudge it over. So you're just getting an outline of the letters. Then go to effects and contour. And we're going to contour to the outside with rounded corners, 0.25 of an inch. Go up to object, break contour apart, and try to get just the outer one. And there you go. That's almost identical. I'm a little bit more of a, of a cut line than he has in this example. There's some space there, and I don't have the space. That's just because I contoured a little bit more than... The, the previous person. So if you back up here and get away that contour, we can contour 0.1, just a little bit. Then go up to object, break contour apart, try to grab that outside contour and move it over. And now you're it's almost identical to the example where this is touching just ever so slightly and that's just not really quite touching. But I'm hoping that's what he was wanting. If that's not what he's wanting, let's say he wanted that box like that, but uh, make it look better is what I'm guessing. So let's get rid of this right here. And matter of fact, let's move this out of the way. And let's grab all that and make a border, nudge it out of the way. And now let's contour the outside a full inch and there you go and then go up to object break contour part and if you notice I never moved anything I nudged everything so I can nudge it right back now once you're on the letter and you could have done it on the letters I always like taking them away uh, just in case I won't have a cut line that's there but if that's a little bit too big you can always go to the inside let's go to the inside point point two five which would give us a 0.75 contour. And then you could just look at it, see which one you like better. Uh, you could take that away. You can go and break the contour apart and then take away that outer contour. Or you can back up here and put a color into that line and actually have something totally different. And then <clears throat> what I would do if he's, I think he's going to cut this out as a sticker. So let's nudge that out of the way. And let's take away that insert, inside contour line. This one, let's change it to a hairline. Double click on your pen tool. Sometimes my laptop doesn't allow me to do that. And so I'm going to have to open up my... And this will be another neat little trick you can... I don't ever use this, so I have it my outline pen tool hidden. Let's just go here and make that a hairline and make it in red. And now it's a red hairline. And then nudge your green back and it'll cut that out leaving the green because your hairline is just inside of there. Now, I just kind of saw something when I move it. This thing is made up of lines, but it's not a line because you can look down here and there's no line because if you take away the fill, there's no lines there. So you're good to go. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.